All too often, pet owners are told to make an unbearable decision, pay thousands of dollars for surgery, or euthanize their beloved pets. But at one veterinary hospital in Woodhaven, a couple of doctors are giving people a chance to give their pets back the life they used to live. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has this remarkable teamwork. This is my dog, Maggie. She's definitely part of the family, and there's nothing we wouldn't do for her, even if that means we may have to sometimes think outside of the box. When this all happened, like my world came crashing down. Avalon Roman thinks it was a fall off the bed that left Belle, her seven-year-old basset hound, unable to move her back legs. And what a vet told her broke her heart. And they're like, well, we have two options. One, you can go to Wayne Westland and do surgery, and we can set you up for a surgical consultation, or you can put her down. Do you sit pretty? Sit pretty. Come on. Oh, good job. But this is Bell now after a few treatments of alternative medicine. Right here, a little bit of an issue. You'll see it go down the leg. Dr. Patricia Odette has been a chiropractor for people for 38 years, and she practices on pets too. And one day a week, she joins Dr. Lucretia Greer in the Woodhaven Animal Hospital, where Dr. Greer performs acupuncture on pets like Morgan. He was very, very bad to the point where I thought we were going to have to euthanize him. But Odette and Greer knew they could help Morgan walk again. They chi is when the, the muscle twitch happens, when they get the muscle fasciculation, and that's how I know that the needle is where it should be. While Dr. Greer is an accomplished veterinary surgeon, she says with Dr. Odette's help, they've been able to restore an animal's ability to walk relatively quickly without expensive surgery. I love being a chiropractor, so I've seen people walking from being down and not walking, so it's not unusual for me to see dogs walking. Everything that I do works 10, 15, 20 times better because she's working on them first. And I was sobbing. I was just sobbing. I'm, oh my gosh, he's walking and he's walking. Are you ready? Yeah. Go get it! Amazing. Pure amazing. I'm just so happy that she can walk again, she can be a dog, and I couldn't ask for anything better. Little Doby's back legs are paralyzed and he was hours away from being euthanized out of state when he was rescued. Odette and Greer are now working to help him regain the use of his legs. You can look in their eyes and see that they don't they don't want to die. They want to be here. They want to live. So to be able to, to give them back that mobility piece and, uh, and they can live out their lives, it's a beautiful thing. And because that little dog Doby is a rescue, thankfully there are organizations like the Animal Resource Funding Foundation, or ARF, to help cover the cost of his treatments to walk again. Kimberly Craig and Maggie, 7 Action News. Now is that a beautiful story or what? Sure. I mean, you know? Helping, helping so many. Yeah, I mean, our furry little friends, that's, that's pretty amazing. And boy, thanks to those two doctors.